Hello everybody, my name is Boss Level High, and welcome back to This is the Police. Now, this game, it's, I, I wasn't expecting it to be a choice-based game, so it's kind of throwing me off my rocker, if you know what I mean. But it's been really fun so far, and the story has been outstanding. So let me get my timer started so I know exactly when to end the video, and let us continue. Let's see what it's got to say on day nine. Uh, have I already read this stuff? Yes, I have. Let's go to work. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? Let me think about that for one second, Roy. Um... Uh, I mean, yeah, but it could be you and your CJs. days. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? What is up with everybody? No. I mean, I kind of just did let Rory go home. So, yeah, you probably should have gone home. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, we'll promote Vandal because he's earned it. And start the day. I can't use Stovall for much stuff. Because he is kind of out of it. Let's get our Ludwig van Beethoven on. And that gold record. No, heck yeah. Alright. Let's get in it now. Uh, feminist protest? A few months ago, an unregistered feminist organization appeared in Freeburg. Today, they are holding their first protest. As far as we know, the organization is backed by foreign sponsors and their goal is to get their people into important positions in City Hall. The protest may escalate into something more serious. We need to show how them who's in charge. Use batons and tear gas, even firearms if necessary. Let's show them what intimidation looks like, up close and personal. So, receiving stolen property. Uh, uh, don't tell me it. Okay. Receiving stolen property in the suburb. A year ago, Nin became. You have to send two officers and the lead investigator. Uh, send Robbins and Gothier. Can we send SWAT too? Yeah. No. Nope. So close that. We won't be doing that just yet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Feminist protest, Desire Park. About 50 women are gathered in the park chanting, Let us be successful. Um. You have to send four officers in SWAT. Oh. Um, then Gothier, Robin, Samadhi, Grant, and SWAT. Proceed. Martin Stett. Jack, we have a problem. The chief prosecutor of Freeburg is a woman. And it seems she's on the side of the feminists. You might be walking into some serious legal problems. We'd better play it safe and fake some evidence to shield you from any possible prosecution. Evidence against Martin Robbins. We'll forge, a, we'll forge a recording of a telephone conversation in which one of your officers says he hates women and he couldn't wait to turn their faces to bloody messes. No. Evidence against Christopher G. Sand. We'll forge a letter in which the Mafia says the feminist organization is getting in the way of other business and demands you suppress the protest by force. With a threat, they'll go after your family. Hmm, I don't have any money to do either, so I'm going to refuse that. Okay, can we just get to this now? Eliminate the Red Mask game. Tomorrow is the deadline. Oh, crap. Dr. Eleanor Warburton. Mr. Boyd, your psych is in good shape. My only concern is your stress level. My research shows that Beethoven's music soothes and relaxes the nervous system. I recommend you invest a good bit, a bit of good... Old Ludwig van. Wait, in a bit, in a bit of good old Ludwig van, it will help you with any violent urges you might be feeling. That's who I've got playing right now. Okay, okay, so we have to send people in. So Vandal and Stovall, and we can't send the SWAT. Dang it. Seven, ten, 
How long are they? Oh, they're almost done anyway. Hostage situation. A dissatisfied client entered some law offices with a pistol, took several employees hostage, and demanded a meeting with the firm's partners. These shysters Jews looked, took me for a ride. They sucked up all my money, and my son still went to jail. Okay. So let's send everybody we have at the moment to it. Okay, and then when these guys get back, Suppress the protest by force. Um, no, 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 no. I mean, yes, suppress the protest, but not by force. So, was it successful? Mafia assignment. Because, Jack, we have something going down today at Ubinovich Casino at 1240. We wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think eight thousand dollars should be enough to search for such a request. Okay, now we can do this. Uh oh, we lost the SWAT for today. Um Sin Robbins and Goth here. Yes. Yep, okay, he was drunk. I knew it. <laughs> My bad, guys. Stovall's dead. The last arson. The last picture show theater. A young woman set fire to the movie theater during a show and fled. Let's put, um, let's put Beasley on it, but I want Moser to be with him to get some experience. Hostage situation. Offender caught. Officers unharmed. Civilian killed. Okay. Okay. Moving off casino, crime in progress. A dealer at the casino called the police after a man entered the pl place carrying a grenade. He threw a duffel bag onto the floor and demanded that it be filled with money. Okay, let some people get back. And then I'll send them in. How long do? 18 seconds. Okay. Offender caught. Uh, offender caught. Okay. Just offender caught. Case closed. You were able to arrest all suspects. Close. Okay. So then now we got those. So do we go after Yin... Jin, is that Yin Yang or Jin Yang? I think that's Jin Yang. Okay. Uh, arrest. Bonus. for thousand. So we already arrested him. Start to investigate. Uh, yeah, I have no investigators. No investigation. Okay, Rubenash Casino. Um, we're getting sale of stolen goods. Sale of stolen goods. Yeah, I have nobody right now. Jin Yang sold a stolen antique to a Chinese businessman. Uh, investigations. Case. Uh, detectives. See, this is arson, so can we. Oh, I could just put anybody on it. Um, clear all slots. Put Debrito with you, because I'm gonna need Moser for another one. Let's go to Wise. Okay, we'll put. We have to put Moser on it. I know he's not the best investigator, but oh yeah, this. Um, someone's in there with a grenade. We need. We need. Grant, you go with them. Uh, I need I need more than two officers at it. Arson investigation has started. Theater management. An incident occurred during the screening of the Jim Jarmusch film Stranger. The film Stranger Than Paradise. The screen is ruined, and members of the audience suffered minor injuries in the panic. But fortunately, no one was seriously hurt. Okay, thank you, theater manager, management. Okay, let me get back. Okay. Jersey Cartel, the usher. I remember a girl with bright red hair. I sold her a ticket after the show started, although I usually don't do that. But she was really, really nice. I noticed a bottle in her hand, but I thought it was soda. I wouldn't think such a pretty young lady would come to the movies with anything hard. Uh, David McC McKay, theater visitor. I sat in the last row. A few minutes after the film started, I heard someone enter the room and slam the door. 
I was going to say something because I don't like it when someone distracts me from John Musk's vision. Then I saw a flash of fire and a flaming bottle threw straight at the screen. Pavel Koshi, theater visitor. When the screen caught on fire, I thought it might must be part of the show. You know what I heard? That Jim Jarmusk's guy is from a nut house. This, that Jim Jarmusk guy is from the nut house. Okay, um, Na Naveen Armstrong, theater visitor. When the fire started, I immediately started looking around for a way out, and that's when I spotted her, the red-headed fool. She ran away quick. There wasn't time to do anything. Okay, so it's a red-headed woman who came in with a bottle of apple cider. Constitution 2000 Arcade. Mr. Boyd, we're insisting a new slot machine called Super Mega Magdalene, Magdalene 3. Uh, the last time we put in a new one, one of the bigger kids almost broke it the first day. It would be great if you could send us a couple of your men to sit by and keep watch. Keep a couple of your men to keep the kids under control. I was looking at something else and wasn't paying attention. Oh yeah, they won't mess with Quan Do. Samadhi Robbins. Samadhi Robbins. Uh, Samadhi, he needs some work. He needs to, he needs to get his stuff up a little bit. I'll keep Robbins around just in case something happens. Because everybody's on a case. Great. Investigation has started. Okay, uh, this is sale of stolen goods. Jin, the seller, Jin Yang, always handles the big deals personally. Okay. Chinese businessman, Bo Zhu, Bo Zhu, Bo Su, that's Bo Su, right? Secretly arrived in Freeburg last week. He's convinced that the necklace was stolen from his family back in the 17th century. Jin Yang typically pretend, pretends to be a regular visit, re, restaurant visitor and tells the buyer in advance which table to find her at. Bo Su prefers to travel without a bodyguard or driver so as not to attract too much attention. Jin Yang always insists on full payment up front and never deals in cash. So no cash and she's always a regular. She's supposed to be a regular at the place. Suspicious individual. Oh, the situation is most interesting. We thought requesting reinforcements. Robbins? That's all I've got. All I've got. Just Robbins. No one die, please. People hurry up and get back. Because, yes, Samadhi and Kwando, I need y'all for a case. I need y'all for a suspicious individual. Everything went great, boss. In fact, it's been a while since we had that much fun. We beat the heck out of all them playing Hellfighter. Okay. Yeah, that's 2,000 bucks I needed. Let's come on home. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. I should have enough time. Oh, I crap, there's two. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. Okay, um. A pregnant girl called in a report on a suspicious gynecologist who she met in reception. The doctor was behaving very strangely and attempted to persuade the girl to have an abortion. Though she was already five months pregnant, through stream, streaming tears, she explained, the doctor said that I, for only $10,000, he would save me from the parasite inside my body. Uh, yeah. Send those guys. Oh, we have a bunch of reports. Uh, Christopher just sent, Jack, we don't know why you did it, but we hope you had a good reason. Don't forget who your friends are. We don't want any more trouble. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That was him. How come civilians are always getting killed? The mayor himself. Jack, you swore an oath to serve this city. If you can't keep your promises, we won't keep ours. The feminist protest. Oh yeah, we were supposed to do it rash with force, not rationally. Oh yeah. Christopher just saying, Jack, we're about to bring in a large shipment of alcohol, but we've heard that our new partners like to play it tough. We need a couple of you guys for insurance. I don't have anybody. I don't, I don't, I don't have anybody. Okay, housewife Takara 
Montez often complains to the police about her neighbors. They're constantly making a racket and often get into fights, always refusing to discuss things with their neighbors. She's called the police again today after hearing loud bangs in the apartment along with loud screams. According to her, about six or seven people live there. Oh, crap. Let's go with Gothier. That way we have Vandal and Grant still here. Uh, the doctor spotted the police, grabs the scalpel, and boldly says, Come on, I'll release your souls from this filthy world. Oh, hit him with a taser. Yeah. How? No! You died from a scalpel? Oh, crap. We've got a... A call came in a hotel occupied. The call came in from a hotel occupant who was concerned about the cries of a woman in an adjoining room. Sounds to me like someone is being raped, said the frightened elderly woman. Vandal and Grant, y'all go assess the situation. I had two officers die today. You tase him. How do we die? Arson. We've got three new frames. Open investigation. Okay, yeah, so we know it was this one, this one, and then this one, yeah. Zoe Nasek, a student, about a month ago, she unsuccessfully applied for an usher job at the last picture show theater. Okay, so she, they didn't allow her to, they didn't give her a job. Ghetto, disorderly conduct, it's worse than we thought. I don't have anybody to send, I'm sorry. I don't have anybody to send. So I'm good. Open investigation. Okay, so she's a regular. Uh, no, 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 no. Money beforehand. Then go in that. Okay, wait. This is gonna take more slides. Uh, they, those usually take more slides. Disorderly conduct. Offender escaped. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Okay, good. Um, arson. Uh, we need officers for it. I've got Samani. If you give me a second, I should have somebody else. Oh, True Color Hotel. The door to one of the rooms on the second floor is standing ajar, and though through it can be seen a large man holding a crying girl by the neck. He's striking her in the face and shouting, Shut up, you whore. I paid to you. I paid to you. Now keep quiet. I paid to you. Strike the man in the knees. Point gun at the man. Uh point gun at the man. The girl managed to escape but her pimp leaps for the man. Her pimp leaps for the man and another fight breaks out. Try to separate them. Use pepper spray. Let them fight. Use pepper spray. The man shoves the pimp away and suddenly jumps out the window. Run down the stairs. Jump out after him in pursuit. Shoot the fleeing man in the back. Run down the stairs. Yeah. Everything went great. Okay, now just wait a second, and we'll have Robbins and Gothier to help with the arson suburbs criminal. Oh no, it went away. Okay, end the day. We'll get her tomorrow. Declare dead. We need to do some paperwork for this dead employee. Declare dead. Delay the paperwork. Keep the body in the morgue. Declare dead. Declare dead. Boss, I quit. Just to spend more time with my family. We. We're losing everybody. This is day 10 out of 180. Whoa. Local resident denounces mayor for theft and antique necklaces. City unemployment rate drops below 1%. Okay, that's good. Representative of Orthodox Church may appear in February. Everything's going great. It's a new movie opening today starring my favorite actor. Can I go? Can you let me off so I can go? No. You can go tomorrow. My son was in a car accident. The doctors are fighting for his life. I just came in to work today. Yes, you can. It's up all night reading. I sat in to sit the last temptation. No. Okay, so we got a lot more officers on this shift. So let's start the day. 
Okay, just making sure. Yeah, let me move my toe and get that to play in. Please be advised that we are unhappy with the efficiency of the Freeburg PD. We're cutting the department's budget. Oh, you lose one job slot. Removing an occupied slot will automatically fire an employee. We have to fire one of these dudes because I don't have near enough people on this one. I have to let you go, Armstrong. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, take care of take care of the hero, City Hall. Benny Cross is today a hero, having pulled a drowning Senator Wallace Green from the river. The municipality, on the senator's recommendation, has decided to reward this outstanding officer. The ceremony is scheduled for July 27th, and the event will be open to the press as well as Mr. Green's family, who wish to personally thank the police. Make sure nothing unusual happens to this officer, so he will be able to, to attend the ceremony and receive his medal without complications. So cross, you're a detective. That won't be too hard. Jack, you swore an oath to serve the city if you can't keep your po I tried my best. Ugh. These people are always asking so much of me. Delete. I don't care. Just send them. Just, all you gotta do is go attempted murder. An ice cream van tr struck a school boy. The ambulance arrived quickly, but the boy was declared dead on the scene. The nearby residents are engaged and demand justice from the driver of the van. That's not attempted murder. He murdered the boy. He, the, the boy's dead. He's been pronounced dead. He's currently holed up inside the ambulance while the paramedics... He's currently holed up inside the ambulance while the paramedics try to reason with the crowd. The situation is quickly spiraling out of control. Sabaki and Austin. Oh, only one can go. Okay, so Baki, you go. And I have affairs to deal with. That's the wrong one. That's the right one. Okay, labor market. I need some people for a shift A. Um, Maximilian Austin. Eric Dixon. And I think I'll hire someone else. Dennis, Cla Dennis Class. Class. Something like that. Close. Okay, now I need City Hall. Job slot officer, SWAT upgrade, raise, job slot detective. Uh, SWAT upgrade. No. Can we request all of them? Send. We probably won't. We probably have less likely to get what we want by sending all of them. But yeah, just send all of them. This music is going crazy. Oh, Purdy passed up Subaki. Hmm. Christopher G said, Jack, some black gangster hit one of our shops. It's too much for us to deal with right now. Can you help? Um. Send Austin to McDuck. Oh, I have to send the price you go with him. So, you know. Uh, I don't want my family killed. It's the only reason why I'm helping you with that one. You're able to arrest all suspects. Great, we got her. Attempted murder so but the situation is serious and we're requesting reinforcements. Uh I'll send her shouldn't be that bad, it's just some dude with a bunch of other people there. Y'all can take him down. Alright, we should have to Jack, we have something going down today at courthouse at 1830. We wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think $6,000 should be enough to, for such a request. Uh, but I don't want to help you. Noise complaint, sawmill. An elderly man called the police station reporting that terrible screams have been coming from the sawmill for over an hour. Heck's going on? What's a guy got to do to get a little sleep around here? You better go check it out. I'll send all of my officers that I have left. How did Subaki die? It was a dude in an ambulance. 
Y'all was supposed to restrain a dude in an ambulance. Technically, y'all got him. How'd you die? Mr. Boyd, I manage a large fleet of vehicles and wanted to organize a workshop for my new drivers. They have to learn how to behave on the road, so your patrolmen will never even need to look twice at our cars. Please send three of your best officers. They'll ride all day with my people and explain the intricacies of traffic flow and police monitoring. I've heard about the problems you department face, your department faces, particularly your obsolete fleet of police vehicles, so in return, I would be happy to donate a paddy wagon. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. So, everything should be going terrible. It is going terrible. I don't know why I said it should be. It is. And I just lost three people for the day. The sawmill is surrounded by a nine-foot fence, and the gates are locked from the inside. Shouts can be heard from within. Knock on the gate, break the gate open, ram the gate with a police cruiser. Break the gate open. Man is threatening a young boy with a circular saw. The man is screaming hysterically. Raise the gun at the man and order him to release the boy. Take aim at the criminal and shoot to kill. Pounce on the criminal. Raise the gun at the man and tell him. Severian's not killed? Yes. Good job, guys. Oh, uh, we got drugs to his stuff. Uh, we need more people back. We need more people back. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I gotta do it. Only have one person. An emergency call was received from an all-night drugstore. An addict, an addict, an addict, is attempting to gain unlawful entry. He violently threatened a female pharmacist, demanding she open the cabinets. Coachy, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to send you on your own. If you need backup, call for it, because now we have people back in the station. Okay, Henry Sand. Chief, we rode along with and went over the basics with their empty headed drivers. We're done for. Oh, no, that's not him. This is my police. We're done for the day. Meanwhile, Mr. Sand dropped off a brand new paddy wagon. It's a nice piece of equipment. Too good for the idiots we'll be packing inside. Oh, we got a paddy wagon. Ha ha. I didn't think it would actually give it to us in the bottom. Homicide at the courthouse. Holy crap. During sentencing, a serial killer by the name of Albert Ramirez seized a gun from a holster of the court bailiff. And after shooting several witnesses, barricaded himself inside the courtroom. A young sten stenographer has been taken hostage. <laughs> I don't have enough police for it. I'm going to have to deny it just because I don't have enough police for it. Because Austin McDuck and Price is now out of the question. Okay, robbery. Offender escaped. Officer unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Okay, good. I was just hoping no one got killed in that. Yeah, I know. There's stuff going down at the courthouse. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Shabaki's dead. The assault. Assault. Crap. Emergency medical services arrived. On call for a man complaining about of chest pains. While they were treating him, not threatening him, the man suddenly attacked one of the MTs, shouting wildly about the global pharmaceutical conspiracy. The other personnel managed to escape and called the police. Okay, wait till we get Coachy back. I'm gonna send everybody on it. Okay, we know homicide is almost out of the question, but I have all my officers going here. Okay, no, I want Coachy and Purdy. And leave Voy and Asano. Homicide. We know about the homicide. Too late. Uh, homicide. Offender escaped. Yes, we know. Civilian killed. Uh, everybody's dead. Thank you for doing as we asked. Here's okay. Shut up. I don't want your stupid money. You keep it. I just don't want my family dead. Okay, now we gotta wait on Coachy and Purdy to get done. There, there. Stuff's so going down. The door to the apartment is locked from the inside, and, and unintelligible screams can be heard from within. Into the adjoining apartment, and climb over the balcony, knock on the door, break down the door. What in the world? The victim is bound and lying on the floor. The assailant is sitting on top of him, waving a syringe filled with an unknown substance. A bottle of bleach is on the floor nearby. Oh. You up the syringe? He won't listen to the reason. So we're in, on your side. Tell us about this conspiracy. Point the gun at the man and order him to lie face down on the floor. We, we're on your side. The man jumps up and grabs some papers from the table. Everything is written down right here. All the evidence you'll need. They created these medicines to control our minds. Quit ranting and release the doctor. Immediately strike the man with a nightstick. 
Well, the Freeburg police will begin an investigation right away. Let's talk down at the station. Get them to come in with us. Yeah, offender called. Officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Yeah, you got a reason. You got to think the way they're thinking. Now we just wait. In the day. Okay. Okay, yeah, declared dead. In the day. I don't know what the point would be in putting her in the morgue and not declaring her dead. All City Hall employees awarded company cars for personal use. Wow. Freeburg to host semifinals of Youth Hockey League. Small drug dealers invade Freeburg. This is the most crime-ridden city in the world. Has to be. Now I drank too much. I don't think I can hold it together. Can I go home? Uh, yes, you can. Freaking people. Go. <laughs> Always gotta make me mad. Just go, 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 go. Just put the song on and play. Uh. Please be advised that we are unhappy with the efficiency. You're cutting the department budget again. Oh, I'm to lose the burrito. Request result. City Hall cannot meet your request at this time. City Hall cannot meet your request. No. No. Okay. So that is the thing about going to Duke. Pressing all of them is the, no, they won't be able to meet our request. I lost an officer on shift B, so I'm gonna get somebody for shift B. Uh, Pinchin. You look like a good officer. I'm really just choosing randomly. I don't really know who I was a good officer or not. Trespassing on a farm. What the heck? Why? What? How? What? Where did this pop up at? Hire a snitch. Pay an employee to gather important information for you. What the heck? I want to go to deputy. Oh, that's the deputy. So my best officer is Roy, and my best detective is Beasley. That's no officers dead four, detectives dead zero. Good. Detectives fired two, officers fired one. Date. It's day 11. Days left 169. Weekly salary 1,200. Money earned, spent. Yeah, crime solved, failed 18 out of 20. Cases solved 4. Okay, send an employee. I want some people to. Are you sure you want to. Pay? Yeah, send some people to a police academy. So they can get better. Um, Grant, you're the worst right now. So, yeah, you go to a police academy. And I need to go to trespassing. Bill Buckler reports that two unidentified men snuck in onto his farm, <coughs> farm, not farm, farm, and set fire to the barn. As the call came in, the two criminals were attempted to gain entry to the house. Oh, crap. Uh, class, go out here, Robbins. Y'all three go. Head on it. I like this music. This music. Nice. When do we get to do stuff on the other side of the river? I want to see my police officers, my police cruisers go over the, over the water. 9-11 in progress. Um, Everyday Mall. A drug addict attempted to hide an expensive bottle of liquor under his jacket. When he was caught, he began to throw a fit. Somebody, Grant, you're in the police academy. So you two go. Trespassing farm. There are no signs of the criminals near the house. The front door has been broken down and shadows lurk inside. Go through the front entrance. Go to the back door. Come out with your hands up. Go through the front entrance. Fender caught. Officers unharmed. Yeah. Close. Alright. Everything's going great. And... Okay. Okay. Hope this day doesn't last for oh it's only noon. Uh 
Because we just sent Jack, one of our new guys, tried to rape our accountant. We locked him up in the hotel room, but he's threatening to hand the whole organization over to the police. I think it's time he talks to a police officer face to face. Uh, Dixon? Because Grant's in Academy? Oh, Vandal's better than Dixon now. Great. Okay, theft. Fender caught. Officer's unharmed. Plus 10 for everybody. Great. And now we got a bunch of officers back. But Sands Ranch. What can I do at Sands Ranch? Crime trap. The Mafia will falsify a special crime in progress report. And all the officers who arrive at the scene will be killed. Up to three cops. What? Investigation trap. So a special investigation and the detective who arrives at the scene will be killed. Only one detective threatened. The Mafia will intimidate members of the committee before the hearing of the prosecutor's office. Why are those options? I mean, I know why they're options. Jack, we have something going down today at City Center in 1839. We wouldn't want any police crashing the party. I think $1,000 should be enough for such a request. Okay, now we're getting some officers back. I don't remember what time he said we was going down. I just know it's City Center. Salt with a dead in the parking lot. A woman reports that she saw a skink head attacking a dark-skinned valet, striking him around the legs, yelling, I'll beat you till you're dead, freak. No crap, I'm gonna do it. She believes she saw a pistol sticking out of the stink, skink head, skinhead's belt. Skinhead. Okay, let's send uh, two, three of our best men and women. Dun, 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 Okay, y'all head over there, get that done, and we should be on track for the rest of the day. Okay, um, can we, okay, tempted mur- whoa, situation is getting out of control here, people. We need somebody on the case. Go up there and help them. Attempted murder at City Center. Man with an expensive suit is lying in the street. It seems he's been shot, but no one saw who shot him or from where. The man is still alive and an ambulance is on the way. Then what do y'all need us for? Th then, like, seriously, what do y'all need us for? I mean, we can open an investigation on who shot him. But other than that, all y'all need is the ambulance. Still don't know what y'all need us for. A man in an expensive suit is lying on the street. Okay. It seems he's been shot. Yes. Mm, we could use the police probably to... I don't know. But no one saw who shot him or from where. Yeah, then y'all need an investigator, not the police. The man is still alive and an ambulance is on the way. They need an investigator and a few police there to help, but okay, whatever. Thank you for the thousand dollars and attempted murder. Fender escaped, civilian killed. So the ambulance didn't do their job, is what you're telling me. Assault with a deadly weapon. Fender escaped. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Attempted robbery. Eight-year-old Kevin is at home alone, hiding under the bed. Eight-year-old Kevin is home alone. Not even a comment. Hiding under the bed. Unknown persons are gathered outside the apartment door. You mean two very stupid men trying to steal? <sighs> Kevin doesn't need the police. Why, why, why are we sending the police? Why, why, why does Kevin need the police? Have you seen Home Alone? Why did he cut through there instead of just going around? Situations more serious than we thought. Requesting reinforcements. Why is all the situations more serious than we thought? Ah, uh, send some reinforcements. Ah, uh, sale of stolen goods. No new frames found. Open investigation. So these are all the frames. So it's... This, what is this? That one, that one, and that one. No, okay, so what I need to do is I need to go to my investigations. Stolen good detectives, and I need to add a detective. Debrito's fired. 
Send Cross with him. Get Cross to help him. Alright, y'all find some more slides. That should be the end of the day, right? Oh, wait, we got a yellow. We got yellow. Oh, yellow is reinforcements. Okay. Okay, so we should be going. Come on, reinforcements. Okay, we got a report. Oh, hold up, I'm stretching. Okay. Get the report in. Ah, something popped in my back. It hurt. Finna caught officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know his bed worked. So then now we're just in the day. All right. All right. Um, we end the day. We end the day. Uh-oh. 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 In my new role as corrupt official, I had to give up some of my favorite habits. I couldn't turn off my phone when my head ached. <laughs> couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday and let the rest of HQ take up the slack. No more days off to go fishing. But my weekly visit to the old colony club was more like tradition. One night a week, I absorbed cigar smoke, the vague smell of alcohol, the stench of urine, all mixed with toxic levels of old drunken belches. Same picture it was 30 years ago. Tradition's got to be honored. And to stay faithful to the tradition, you've got to respect the standard rituals. When you're about to roll out of the club, you need to take a deep breath and count to a hundred. If your stomach doesn't do a backflip, you should be good to make it home. This time, I only got up to sixty. I was interrupted. Why? You look even better than you do on TV. Who is Varga? There's nothing more impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private place in the city. All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, artists, businessmen, and all our politicians. Takes a lot of balls to crash the party. My head was a drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit straight out of Dick Tracy. Fancy voice, fruit cologne, sassy strut. That's how the newspapers described Vikis Varga, rising star in Freeburg's criminal underworld. Oh, crap. Now I got someone else to deal nowhere. with. And with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. He killed those who could not be killed, traded what could not be traded, and robbed those who could not be robbed. In just a single month, this man had gathered an incredible amount of power. He's been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius. And more often than not, he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas. But if Vargas was one of the old crime bosses, he'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river. Look past this guy's arrogance and there's something about him. The city is still deciding what to do with him. Meanwhile, he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Not the best time to talk, Mr. Varga. Well, you know my name. I'm flattered. Although not very surprised, to be honest. I might be a little short on manners. Like they say in your fair city, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Even the criminal world needs manners, Mr. Varga. And one of them is this. Don't interfere with a drunken cop who's trying to take a shit and puke at the same time. <laughs> oh, you exaggerate. But is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you already know Freeburg quite well, Mr. Varga. Well, I love to learn and look around. But I do know that the inhabitants of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. I don't want your phone number. You really writing it on my this arm. This city of yours moves so fast. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines all over again. You wake up in the morning full of ideas. And by nightfall, you've all had each other killed. So don't wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. 
It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned myself, most likely. Hell, I'm a little stoned right now. It's the only way to live in this place. Nope, it is. I not. like your city, Jack. I'm here to stay. I don't like his voice. If it weren't for the phone number written on my arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. Yeah, um... No, not gonna help you out in any way possible. I've already stuck with one criminal. Orthodox priest bribe mayor. Students volunteer to help farmers. Greek priest to be appointed head of Freeburg Orthodox Church. Well, I think that's as good a place as any to end this one off. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys for being such a boss. And if you like what you see and want more of what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. And as you all know, I will be here in the next episode. Goodbye.